hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna try to pack everything that i had packed uh for my six days trip to fuerteventura um things that i packed in my osprey daylight 26 plus 6 backpack i'm gonna try and put them um pack them in the um nomad lane is it nomad lane yes in the nomad lane um uh, travel bag now this is an older version of the bag but it's pretty much organized the same way and it's got pretty much the same measurements and i just want to see if i can put everything in here into this bag both for me i would consider them personal items there are hundreds of videos online where they show that this one the nomad lane bag is a personal item so as i said this is a very old version of it i don't have the new one and because of the way i pack i didn't think it was worth me buying a bag uh, a new version uh, to pack it but just to give you an idea of how much it can fit and how i would pack this bag as opposed to how i packed this bag uh, so stay tuned and see if we can pack everything that i packed in here in this bag and how it looks like um and yeah if you like this video or this type of videos please uh, give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel and uh, I'll try and make more videos like this in the future. So this is how the Nomad Lane bag is organized. Two compartments, one here, uh, where, and you have these two pockets accessible from here, uh, and you have these pouches that you can put in here. Um, so you've got this uh, side, and then you have this side, uh, with an area for your laptop or your tablet uh, this side is also accessible from the top and I, I, I think even the new ones are no I'm, I'm pretty sure that even the new ones are pretty much uh, organized the same way so this is a mesh uh, zip up area and then you have a little pocket outside so let's see now if um, if you check my previous video you will see everything that i packed in this bag bear in mind they are completely different bags and they will look uh differently uh and i would probably have to be a bit more creative with how i pack them so bear with me and let's see if i can pack everything from here into here so let's try first to do it with the packing cubes so let's see if the packing cubes i used in the backpack will fit the ones here will fit here and if you will close no it doesn't i mean it does fit like this Let's try and see if I put things around it, if I can still close it. So I can put this here. This is my soap. This is the hat. That. Let me see if I can take from... Yeah, no, thanks. The bathing suit, the swimsuit rather, and the hat. Let's see. So I had three swimsuits. Let's see if we can pack them here. Two and three. Okay. So now let's see if I can close this. No, I won't be able to close it. Okay, let's try and pack this differently. So let's take the swimsuits away. And these as well. Okay, 
let's see if we do a bit of a file folding situation if this will pack. This is now file folding. Let's see. This can be okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's try and put the bathing suit here as well. Like that. Okay. Well, I can put it here. Um, let's put it here and then this one can go here perfect and then this is the soap it can go here so now we're just trying to find spaces for everything um, this is my pyjama t-shirt let's try and put it here as well okay so that's that and then let me try and put the shorts like that because it will pack easier that way there we go Perfect. So now I've got one, two, three pair of shorts. One, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tops, two cover ups, and three bathing suits suits okay and then these are the shorts can i put the hat as well what do you think can i might be able to let's try and put the hat here no, just there like that okay and then this can stay like that i don't think i can put any more on this side now let's see if this will close it doesn't let's see if i can take if i take the shorts if it closes 
should do. It really should. Okay. So I managed to pack that there. The only thing I didn't pack was these shorts. But let's see if I can find a different place for them. Okay, in these little pockets here, I'll put my underwear. That's it. The underwear I used. Perfect. And I can put... Can I? No, I can't. So let's close this up. And in here, I can try and pack the shoes. But what I'll do, I'll take them out of the packing cube because they're not going to touch any clothes anyway. So I'm going to pack one pair there. Let's see if I can pack another pair here. Can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Cool. So I packed two pairs there. And then I still have my Birkenstocks, which I can pack one here and one there. Okay, so Birkenstocks can go there. Perfect. Under the bags here, I can put my sarong. And then in between there, I can put the clothing line. And over here, I can put the brush. Okay, and then I still need to pack the soaps. Soaps can go there. Um, okay, let's see if this one closes now. Maybe I should pack my Birkenstocks this way. Just put this up there, that way. Let's see if this way packs. Yes, this way will pack. But then I still have, I can pack the bag here. Let's see if this packs this way. still have to pack these now I had a few things in the in here let's see you know the little miscellaneous things that were in my other bag so I had a few medication face wipes um, q-tips um, cable, laundry bag, and toothbrush. So these I still need to pack. So I've got two ways that I can do it. I can put everything in here. Let's open this up again. And I can put this here. The So that's my uh, beach bag, this one is. So I'm still having to pack, I still have to pack these. Let's try and see if I leave them there, if I can still pack it. There we go. Will it close? What do you think? Will it close? Let's try and see if it's going to close or not. Okay. So, let's see. Let's see if it closes.
Okay, so here it is. So if you check my previous video, I had everything packed in the Osprey Daylight 26 plus six, which is a travel backpack. And it's basically, I used it at the 26 liter capacity. I never expanded it to uh, 32, 32 liters. So everything that was packed in here is now packed in the Nomad Lane um, travel bag. I don't even know what it's called. Um, so this one uh, has a trolley sleeve over here uh, and it's got a little um, pocket there I think the new version is slightly different remember it had those two pockets and I put the miscellaneous things and in one I put my underwear uh, I didn't put anything in this um, uh, but in this pocket but basically everything I packed for six days in um, Fuerteventura in my Osprey Daylight 26 plus 6 I managed to fit it in this bag remember last time I show you if you check my other video uh, I had also a bum bag or a crossbody bag in which I had my cosmetics any medication any documentation external backpack uh, and I put my Kindle now from um, the Osprey Daylight into that one but to be honest the Kindle would have fit easily there so let's see how much this weighs remember the other one was 6.8 6.9 kilos let's see if there's any difference in weight with this bag now so this one weighs 6.9 so I have put the Kindle in here and this is how it sits, just like that. If you can see, that's it. So just in case you're uh, interested, the measurements of this bag are 46, 46 and a half centimeters by Twenty six by by twenty six. Oh, sorry, by twenty seven. So these are the measurements for the Nomad Lane, um, Nomad Lane bag, all packed. The Osprey one, lengthwise. Is pretty much the same width wise it's much wider and <clears throat> um, depth wise is probably about the same or maybe slightly lower uh, but yeah this is how it looks like packed in the nomad lane back uh, in the nomad lane travel bag so if I open it again for you This is how everything looks packed. So these are the shorts. Over here, I had my travel tote. I had shoes, three pairs of shoes. Um, I had soap, sarong, brush, toothbr toothbrush, and uh, I said soap and clothing line. In here, I put any miscellaneous things. In the other little um, pocket here over there I've put all my underwear and then on this side as you've seen are all the clothes and in this situation the hat I had the cream hat I will probably just wear it 
because it wouldn't fit anywhere else. So this is how it looks. Uh, this is actually quite a, a nice way of packing the file folding. So if I take this away, you can see all the clothes you have. And uh, it's very easy, you know, to pick one thing, wear it, wash it and put it away. Or just put it in the dry, in the dirty laundry. And then um, when you pack it to go home, this side will all have uh, dirty clothes. Hope this video helps to give you an idea of how you can pack your um, Nomad Lane bag for, this is an example of a six days trip uh, to uh, somewhere sunny, so somewhere hot. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. As I said, this is an old version of the Nomad Lane bag. I don't know uh, if it, it doesn't look like there would be any different uh, with the older version. It will, the materials will probably be different, but otherwise packing wise would probably be pretty much the same. So yeah, have a beautiful day. Um, subscribe if you like this type of videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.